Good morning. Let's go. Today we're in Aqaba. Today we're going to go on the Red Sea. We're going to get on a boat. We're going to go for 15 minutes. We take a quick tour around the harbor and we get to watch the fish under the water. So when you come up to Aqaba, you must go to the sea. So come on, let's go. Now, as you see, it's not easy to get on a boat. We're about ready to leave. Now look how clear the water is. Look at the water. Very clear. Now this trip will take maybe 15 minutes, and we will see. So come on, let's look at the food. see. Now we go out further, it's even more beautiful. You know today is, uh, is it the sky, the moon, I mean, look at the buildings, look at the mountains. Here we have Aqaba, that is Jordan. Over there is Israel. Jordan, what's the name of the city? Elat. Elat is the city over here. So when you come, you have to cross the water to get to Israel, Elat. Now, when I told you, well, let's go, we're in Aqaba. And guess what? I just met some beautiful people from London and Maryland. So they're coming from all over the world to see Aqaba. They told me they just left Petra. And my gosh, are they ever going to see some beautiful stuff? So I'd like for this young lady to introduce herself. If you don't mind, ma'am. Hi, I'm Eileen. I'm from London. And I'm here on a cruise, which is doing. Uh, we've been to Israel, we've been to Petra, and now we're here in Aqaba. And where did you like the most so far? What's your favorite? I liked Israel best. Israel. She loves Israel. So come to Israel. It's going to be Christmas soon. So come. Let's go to Israel next. And sir, ma'am, would you mind introducing yourself? I'm Lucy from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm here on a cruise, and I love Israel. And I she loves Israel. I just thought it's fabulous, and uh, this is about my tenth time in Israel. Tenth time in Israel. Why ten times, ma'am? What do you find interesting about Israel? Why do you well, come? Well, I come back with different groups with my children, and I find that some land that was nothing before is now a whole world. It's a whole world, isn't it, ma'am? Yes. Beautiful, isn't it? You see the peace in Israel? Do you feel it when you come? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, ma'am, for sharing that with us, sir. Yeah, hi, I'm, I'm, I'm Charles. I belong to Lucy. <laughs> and, and she's very modest. She actually came to Israel one time to do an archaeologic dig and, and stayed for a number of weeks while, while digging. And we obviously came on a, on a cruise, and we just decided to come into town. Well, great. What do you think of Aqaba so far? Fine. Fine. Really like Fine. It, yes. The people? Aren't the people friendly? I mean, well, everybody seems friendly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A matter of getting somebody who who understands us if we walk into a store. But otherwise, everything's fine. They will always want to sell you something. No, of no, course, they just want to talk. Not, not always. No, they want but to that's talk. how they make a living. They must right, do I know. that. Yeah, I know. They're poor. They so when you come over here, be generous. Be generous, okay? Yeah, okay. They're wonderful people, but they need money. They need, all the people here need money, and someday I hope to feed many of them. So God willing. I'll be able to do that. Thank you. Let's go. Today we're in Aqaba. We're going to take about a 10 minute ride around the city. It's very small. Today is August the 19th. It's Friday. So let's go the world and see Aqaba. Today is our day. Let's go.
just spent going by the Red Sea, the beach, the houses, the shopping, and now I'm going to show you McDonald's, some hotels, and when you come over here, you'll know where to stay. So, let's go! Yes, and as you see, you see McDonald's, you see some of the hotels. This is not a, they're not very expensive. But you see here, we're getting ready to go out of the city, Aqaba. It's down in the valley, it's by the sea. However, if you look up, you'll see all the mountains that surround it. Coming over here, we went over mountain after mountain after mountain. We drove from Petra, it took us about three hours. So, the roads are not that good, but you have to be real careful when you drive over here, because they drive, very close so if you come you may want to get a driver and not try to drive this yourself so now we're going to leave the city as we go you'll see us departing the city let's go city you've seen it over across the Red Sea is the city of Elat. In Elat there are about 50 approximately 50,000 people living. Over here in Jordan there are 200,000 people. So you can see the difference of the of the majority of people that live in this area. However now as we continue down the road we're going to go to the outskirts and we'll show you more film of how it looks back on the city. So come to Aqaba, come to Elat. Now let's go. Okay. Yes, we just left the cities. So let's go, I'll show you the airport. The airport you can see of Aqaba is very small. However, if you wish to fly to Aqaba, you can. I don't know the cost yet, I'll find out later, but there's the airport of Aqaba. It's very small, but it's very open. So, let's go. Okay, let's go. If you'll look over here, you'll see the mountains of Elat. There on the left, you will see a few planes on the runway. There's only a few planes, but it's still an airport, so you can still fly in here. Now look at the desert, how isolated it is. It's quiet here, but guess what? It's peaceful too. So God bless, let's go on, and we're going to Amman. Let's go. Welcome.